Cut come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and not better than the rest? And if I hear team beat your chest, it's a school boy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows so around. Come enjoy the show. It's a school boy football. This. Take a look at the starting lineup for both these teams, and we're going to start off with Happy Grove here. Shadane McLeod is between the sticks. We believe that they are going going in with a back five here: ja Javor Lawrence, Renaka Ramiki, Naron Murray, and Dante Burke, and Mario Barclay in, in the middle of the park. Sean Williams, Jabari Ellis, and O'Shane Chambers, and two up front. Uh, 24 goals between them. Siobhan Miller with 20. Bonichism with. Uh, Four goals as well as six to six assists. Yeah, looking to unleash his wing backs here, um, Happy Grove. And yeah, Chevron Miller, a player he almost didn't have for the season, but he's here with him and 20 goals to the good. Almost been taken away by Mount Pleasant, but he's here. Let's take a look at Froome technical starting lineup. Oral Davis is between the sticks. They have a back three of Jamil Gale, Jamara Grant, and Uriel Lempard. In the middle of the park, Giovanni Williams, Wayne Munnings, Kemori Brown and Chris Mark Clayton. And uh, three up top, O'Brien Reed and uh, Dwayne Watt with four goals and ten assists. Uh, beside his name, Stevon Spence has 22 goals so far this season, their number 11. Yeah, a very exciting player is. He knows where the goal is and don't have to say much. That's 22. As we take a look at the full-time highlights here, and uh, Happy Grove, they had their chances, you know, especially through Chevron Miller. But uh, the captain wasn't on their A game today. And here's the ball that came inside and Nemhard did well enough to just bundle that one over the line. Keeper just wasn't strong enough. And it was the start of a long afternoon for Shadane McLeod in goal. Froome. 1-0 up. Then the ball over the top. Some good work on the left. Came across to what? Spence was making his way in the middle and guided that header well. To the right of Shadane McLeod. What a ball from what? It was 11, his 11th assist of the season. And Spence was ecstatic with that finish, the first goal of three. And then this one, over the top. Javon Williams had a really good game, you know, blasting that one. While well, the defender was in the way. Some really good work by Dante Burke, who had a good game as well. And uh, this attempt uh, missed their defensive header over the top. And then here's another chance, and the keeper <laughs> making a meal of it. You reckon that he could have held on to that one, Omar Davis? Oral Davis, rather. And now the long ball tried to beat him skillfully. McLeod, who was off his line. And then there was the lob that was just wide of the mark as Happy Grove tried to get back into the contest here. Actually missed pretty comfortably in the end. Siobhan Miller again wasn't sharp at all. And then Williams firing that one right into the corner. And McLeod had to move smartly to his right to dig that one out. And another effort from distance. It really was a grass cutter that one just missing and then Spence probably the easiest goal he has scored all season delivery coming in from Wayne Mullings and he was right right at the doorstep and just touching that one home getting his second of the game and then another chance and cleared off the line pretty much Miller again with the opportunity on another day their leading scorer would have had a hat-trick here and this goal pretty fortunate but it would complete his hat-trick here and uh, he was in an offside position when the ball came from off the boot of the midfielder there yep 
didn't get back in time. But Spence didn't care one who, did he? That was his hat trick. 25 goals on the season for the sharpshooter. And then Williams' effort, again from long range, he was having fun. But no smiles on the faces of the Happy Grove players. As uh, Froome Technical with 19 shots, 10 on target. Happy Grove with 16 shots, just three of them were on target. And you can see Happy Grove with the advantage in terms of the corner kicks, 8-6. And their custodian having to make some six uh, saves. Shadeen McLeod and Froome Technical with the majority of the possession at 60%. It's now time for our water man of the match, and it goes to none other than the hat trick hero himself, Stevon Spence. Here with the water man of the match, Stefan Spence. Congratulations. <laughs> I think I can call you a hat trick hero for today. Tell me how you felt after scoring the third goal, because I saw you dancing on the field, so you looked a little happy to me. Well, I felt great going into the final this season since my first year, my second year of the Dacosta Cup. Well, you were walking over here a while ago, limping a bit. You have an ice pack on your hamstring. What's going on? Uh, it was a slight injury, as you can see in the game right there, it's hamstring. And that's why coach had taken you off? Yes, yes. Well, will you be ready for the finals? You have a little over a week to get ready, so. Yes, miss, don't know I have to put in the work, miss. I'll come again. Well, let's see what work you do and see you in the finals. All right. Nice. And now we welcome the coach of Happy Grove, Mr. Vin. This 